Good, my people. Today we are having. I decided to do a mukbang. It's been a while since I did one of these. I think I've only done one. I'm pretty. I'm, yeah, actually, I did two. I did a Taco Bell one. And maybe they didn't know what they were doing. Mm -hmm. It was way too salty. And I did a Chick Fil A one for like ten bucks. They really shot. Whoa. Hold on. They done switched up the recipe. It tastes like they blended up a cheeseburger in this. The Taco Bell one was with my cousin and the Chick-fil-A one was by myself. Sitting at that table over there. Today we are having something that you can't have if you're not in my state. Which is South Carolina. South Kakilaki. How we... Oh, excuse me. Usually how we would prefer to... That's, that's how we say it in a silly way. This is called Tropical Grill. I think they've expanded toward North Carolina a little bit, but for the most part, they're in South Carolina. Yeah, we got our yellow rice. We got our grilled chicken. And I asked for the extra extra, which you can get on any of their sandwiches or wraps or whatever. I got like a whole spread of chicken and rice. So you can ask for like roasted onions, mushrooms, I didn't know they put corn in here too. They put corn in there. Tropical Grill is one of my most favorite health, healthy fast food places. Yeah, like today I went out there in the rain and um, I went out there in the rain. I'd say that they got the, the speed. They got the speed in the dining room down. You know, like I don't, only place that's touching them on speed in the dining room is probably, um, Maybe taco, maybe some Taco Bells, maybe. And Chick fil A. But when it comes to the drive through window, ain't nobody, ain't nobody messing with Chick fil A on that one. They still gotta work on that window speed. But the food that they get you is worth it. It is very much worth it. So, what is next? What is next? For this channel, what exactly do where where exactly do I plan on going with this? What's the plan? Is this just a hobby? Is this a passion? Is this something I want to I plan on doing full time? Will I move to LA when the time comes? Might be a little far from now. Who knows? I really love this yellow curry sauce. It says mustard, but like I don't know what they mix in it, but it's it's like crack. It's real good. Of course, I've never had crack, but this is a dick. I know that. I know it's addicting, so this food is addictive. It's very good. If you ever find yourself in South Carolina and you're a health nut, one of the first places you should hit up is Tropical Grill. This place is gas. It's fire. But what is next is, plus I also like how they put these wraps in here with the food. That's it's amazing. What I plan on doing is, I plan on doing the same thing I saw a friend of mine in Greenville, you know, from the same city I'm in right now, do. His name is Duke Dennis. If you look him up, you'll probably see him. He just hit a million subscribers. I met him downtown back when he only had 33 subscribers of last year. It's, it's amazing seeing how much his life has changed over the course of a year. Happened like that. It feels like yesterday he was at 33,000. Yesterday. Now he's at, I think a, a million, 200, a million, 1 million, 20,000 people. And that's something. Not too many people from, from here, from here, Greenville, right here. Not too many people can say that. Not anybody can say that actually. He might be the first. He's not the first out of South Carolina because I know Angry Grandpa came from here, but he's probably the first out of Greenville to do it. He's definitely not working a job. He bought himself a Jeep Wrangler, got it wrapped. That dude, he's doing it up. I can understand why he kind of cut ties from me because I know no one, but um, as soon as it started to blow up, he only kept his like close circle, kept in contact with his close circle. Didn't really trust too many other people because he thought that everybody was using him for clout, which I can understand that. Because if you weren't there from the beginning, you know, why would I want to put somebody on 
who wasn't with me when I was grinding, but now they see the fruits of my labor. Why would I let you bask in the fruits of my labor, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing the same thing he's doing. The only thing different between me and him is he was more consistent than me. I watched Duke Dennis post every sing, every day. He didn't miss it. If it was within his power, he did not miss a single day of posting a YouTube video. So far, so good, though. I think I'm about four days in, four or five days in, maybe. The only difference between me and him is I had to be consistent. That's actually what got us from 200 to 900. The only reason we didn't keep growing is because I stopped. I really want to make these videos more fire for you guys. It's raining outside today, but I finally found some people who want to do some videos with me. More lit videos, like public interview type stuff. I wouldn't mind being a travel vlogger. You know, just like travel, spend like maybe three, two, four months traveling the world. Get it all on camera. And post it for you guys. Because one thing I've always wanted to be is, I came up with this quote, or this label, I guess. It's a label called Becoming a Walking You Can Do It. It's when people know where you're from, they see what you did. And it's like, yo, if, he, if that guy can do it, why can't you do it? You know where he's from, you know? Plus on top of that, making videos is like my second love. My first love is music. Music is what kind of helped me raise my self-image outside of playing sports. I played sports because I knew that I would get knocked around a little bit. So maybe it would take me out of my shy shell, which it did. Because I was painfully shy. I was so shy that if a girl I thought was somewhat pretty came up to me, the only thing that would come out of my mouth was on and on appeal. Couldn't talk. Even if it was just a random person just being friendly, I could barely talk. If you weren't my family, I didn't talk. Ugh. If you weren't my family, I didn't talk to you. The person you guys see today is a whole 180 away from the person I used to be, that's for sure. Because I definitely didn't have enough confidence to put my face on the camera. Oh, shoot. Definitely didn't have enough confidence to put my face on the camera. I don't really have any big, gigantic, super, omega, fancy, luxurious dreams. All I want to do is just live a good life, travel, have a family, and um, not let finances limit me on what I can do. That's pretty much it. I just want to do music and travel and live life with no limits. I'm halfway. I'm a little... I'm halfway there. I used to work in a factory 12 hours, seven days a week. So I know the struggle. I was still in my mama's house back at that time too. <clears throat> I'm starting to get full. needed that. When you go to Tropical Grill, if you find yourself in South Carolina, I don't even remember what I was talking about. My, phone, my camera almost overheated in that last clip. Always get the large. The large is only like eight to nine dollars. Like this thing is like, I'm already almost full and I still got so much in here. Ugh. You definitely get your money's worth. Cause this is probably about if I was to be a little frugal about my food and I didn't have bottomless pit days, this would be about three meals right here. Three meals worth of food right here. But today's kind of a bottomless pit. Plus I hadn't really eaten all day. So I'm probably gonna eat most of this, but the rest of it's getting demolished in the morning. I know there's no way in the world I'm gonna finish. If I do finish this, I'll surprise myself. I realized how thirsty I was. Ugh. Well, it pretty much covered everything. What's next is, it's, it's grind time, y'all. 
It's grind time every single day. Videos every day. I don't care what the views look like. I don't care how much we pick up, how much we slow down. I'm not gonna stop, you know? If so-and-so can do it, I know I can do it. Excuse me. Never let it, that's the number one thing that like usually knocks a lot of people down is um self-comparison to somebody else. I like it when somebody does better than me or does something earlier than me though. It just, it motivates the fire out of me. Knowing somebody out, knowing somebody I knew did it. And it was just something as simple as being consistent, just being consistent. It was that simple. But yeah, hopefully down the road I'll be able to help people I care about. I'll be able to collab with other big creators like a Duke Dennis. And maybe, maybe I'll be on a tour in your city performing one of my songs one day. Who knows? Yeah, I work part time at this freezer place. It might be going downhill in about six months. A lot can happen in six months, who knows? It's only been five months going into 2020 and y'all see what's already happened. Ain't no telling what these next seven months gonna look like. Well, actually, technically, technically it's six months. It's now, it's June now. A lot's happened in 2020, these first, the first three to four months, moving on into six. Only God knows what, what's gonna happen next, leading into December toward the new year. But I look forward to it, because that's, that's life, you know? Life is always full of unexpected. You never know what's going to happen. You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You don't know if you'll wake up tomorrow. You don't know what's gonna happen next week. You don't even know what's gonna happen on your way out of your crib to your car. You don't know. All you can do is live your life and hope or pray for the best. Or hope and pray for the best, technically in that order. But, I think that's about it, you guys. I got my second wind, so I'm probably gonna eat, keep eating. But if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And I got another video on the way tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow will be a sunny day. Cause tomorrow I plan on, after I do this like little music session with somebody tonight, tomorrow when I wake up, I'm gonna go to the park and I'm gonna do some, do what I haven't done since last Halloween. I'm gonna do some interviews social experiment stuff. I'm excited for it. But, appreciate you guys again. If you're new here, thank you. I've been seeing the numbers go up. I appreciate y'all. Wherever you're from, I holla peace.